You don't, they don't have Vampire the Masquerade in their database? In the database of what database? Oh, they're... Wow, they're really specific on Twitch. Put in just right. Put in just right. Okay, good. I have audio. Yeah, I heard that twice. So that works. Game still working. Appears to be. I see. See you on new game. Oh, options again. Option screen. Okay, so just. I'm gonna run upstairs and get some snacks. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. <laughs> Broadcast to YouTube now and see what happens there. Now, I wonder if that embed code stays the same if I can plug that into a website or not let's just test out it again Okay, so we're getting sound. Okay, so we're getting sound. That's good. Testing. Testing. Oh. That's on a delay. That's on a delay. That's on a delay. Seems to be working. So now, where did Tom get off to?
and burn back. Got both streams up and going. Okay. Oh, and I got both chat rooms up and going, but I can't look at both of them, and I don't think anyone's in on either of them yet. That's on mute. Which one do you want me to look at? Um. I guess maybe the YouTube one. That one seems to have the most trouble. And that's the one that's harder for me to try and refresh. Okay, I'm trying to find it. Oh. Um. May have to try going to my. Try going to that link in the chat. I don't know if it, I don't know if the comment things works in the Hangout app, YouTube app. Okay. Their live commenting system is really bizarre. I don't see. Ah, oh, there it is. Ooh, I hear echo. Yeah, I gotta um, do some muting in here. There we go. Yeah, there's, there's suppo you can supposedly enable the live, you know, automatically updated, updating comments. Supposedly enable uh -huh. the live, but it doesn't always work. Okie doke. Well, I've got my 19-inch screen again. <laughs> wow. Now life in 4x3 is not good. <laughs> Which computer is that? Wow, well, this was my main computer. Oh. So I bought a new power supply. I'm, that was 130 bucks. Ooh. Yeah, well, hard to find a uh, inexpensive 1,000 watt power supply, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I got an 850 or a 950. Well, I'm not sure what I got, but I think it was an 800. Um, but I got a, uh, uh, a better brand name, uh, power cool or, a... oh yeah. Okay. I was looking at some of those. Uh, I, ended, I ended up going with the Corsair. Hmm. Well, I was going to buy anything. Excuse me. My trippies. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to buy anything, but I know ZZ. Oh yeah, that's the one that burnt out. Yep. Twice. So, I've got these very expensive paperweights. <laughs> Did they at least give you any money back for any of them? Well, I could ship them off under warranty and pay 35 bucks and get another one. Oh yeah. But, quite honestly, I'd rather put the 35 bucks into a power supply that works. So I think it was an Ant Anatech power supply. Sorry, I thought I got the last time. Um, it was like an 800 watt, five year warranty, and it was modular. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah, this one worked really well because I only had to use two plugs. Oh. All right, you had to use one for the um, the well, 
what they do <laughs> modular se i call it semi-modular because the um your atx part and the cpu part are hardwired right mm -hmm. but they also hardwired the uh, pci video card hmm all right because sometimes that's modular so those are i mean and then that makes sense because generally you're going to use them right uh-huh especially on an 800 watt power supply. So, cause you're putting in usually a big video card in. So I, I use those and then I only had to use one SATA for the hard drives and one uh, Molex for the um, CD-ROM and the fans. So I only used two of the um, multitude of cables they gave me. Yeah, I think I ended up using most of the cables or at least most of the main ones. I was just a matter of trying to fit them because they had little slots where each one could actually go. Oh, yeah. So it's modular, but there are only certain spots where each one could go, so... Yeah, you have to make a choice. You, yeah, your your options are limited as far as this what... This one and... had all the slots. You could have put all the cables in. Oh, that's and nice. I tell you, if you could do that, there'd be one heck of a lot of hard drives and devices in that machine. <laughs> because each SATA cable did four SATA devices, right? And it was actually long enough that if I had a full tower, it would be no problem getting to it. Oh, nice. So I'd wrap them all up and put them, uh, you know, Velcro them up and put them, stuff them in the uh, empty bay that I have. And uh, it's actually pretty nice and neat and quiet inside. I mean, you know, downside is you have to literally rip the case apart to get the power supply in and out. Because you have to take out the top um, hatch there. Oh the yeah. USBs. I have to take that completely apart. I have to take the motherboard out. Oh, I didn't yeah. have to do that. Fortunately. No, mine uh, the heat sink and power supply are so because I got an aftermarket heat sink. It's so tall. Right? Because I mean it's about eight inches tall. It almost comes well. Can't be eight inches because the case is only about seven. But it's like within a half an inch of the case top. <laughs> So, you know, you get like six inch heat sink on top of this thing. So it's uh, got to come out in order for you to get the power supply by it and end up into its bay. Hmm. Anyways, the monitor died too. Oh, <laughs> well, that that's convenient. Yeah, I was wondering if we had a power surge or something, but it didn't appear to be that. And it's, it's, I have them on two separate surge power bars so which is bad luck so I lost my widescreen 20 inch monitor 22 inch monitor so back to my uh, 19 inch uh, 1280 by 1024 and everything I haven't even played any games on this thing I can imagine I wanna... some odd some scaling and well, resizing issues. I have everything set up for a widescreen now, and if I switch back, it just be. It's, yeah, I'll have to switch, switch back, back again. again. Yeah, so I'm I'm waiting for a sale on a 22 inch or I there was a 24 inch for sale. It was 159 bucks, but the reviews of it weren't too hot. Hmm. So I'm just waiting for a good sale. New Egg is usually having a sale of some kind. Well, I'm trying to avoid shipping. Oh yeah, I suppose with that huge, that would cost a lot to ship. Yeah, that and is it going to be broken? And then you got to ship it back. I'd rather get it locally here with Staples or Future Shop or the co-op where my wife works. Yeah, in case um some guy decides to toss it over your fence. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For some reason I have some oddly blurry textures in this game that seem a little out of place. Hmm. So I've heard of this game. Yes, I have heard of it too. I've always wanted to play it. Oh, nice.
Now it's an RPG, if I remember correctly. Yes, an action RPG. Oh, well, there's some physics. Nineteen ninety-two. So it's only twenty years old. Or am I doing my math wrong? Nineteen ninety-two. Yeah. Twenty years. Seems like a long time. I was thinking it was a pretty good-looking game for twenty-two years old. I think that's probably because of the Source engine. Yeah, it's based on Half-Life Two, I believe. Yeah, because Source Engine has been upgraded a number of times. Yeah, and now there's like supposed code for the Source Engine 3, and that's um, Valve, Steam, Filmmaker thing. Mm -hmm. Nosferatu. Thanks. Great movie of you. They, they watch seriously, an old silent movie. They look like zombies. Well, that's the original vampire look like in the original Nosferatu movie. Oh, yeah. You know, he had like the buck tooth kind of fangs instead of the, the eye teeth. It was his two front teeth that were real long. Yeah, before they started making vampires all sexy and attractive and whatnot. More Bram Stoker type vampires, yes. Corridor. That sounds like some royal family name. I thought it said Toe Reader. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an interesting kind of vampire. Uh, seriously, it's all I can see. <laughs> <laughs> like this one says Tremir? Or Tremaine? Yeah. I think it's Tremir, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, they use blood magic. <laughs> Ventru. I know for Dragon Age, blood magic is bad news. Yeah. I gotta get back into playing that. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's also amazing how much blood a single person can get from their hand. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the magic part. <laughs> uh, blood mul multipl um, multiplication. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, you know, in reality, it is amazing how a little bit of blood can go a long way when you're when you're bleeding. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, so these are the snobby vampires. They can only feed on upper class humans. Oh. Because apparently there's a difference in their blood. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, he wouldn't be drinking my blood. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're connoisseurs. Mm. So. So these guys are the melee dudes. Um, mm -hmm. These are a friend. Are these like some sort of weird shapeshifters? Yeah, are they like some kind of vampire werewolfish thing? Mm. And then these are the. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I don't even know what you would call these. <laughs> Espers. What? Espers, so like a uh, tele. Oh, telekinetics. Hmm. Man. It's kind of interesting because they did. It didn't kind of milk the old vampire mythology. They kind of took it and played with it a bit. You uh huh. Know? 
So it's not just a rehash where this is the vampire, they're sexy. Or this is a werewolf. You know, they're... See, it says, it says Toe Reader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it actually does. <laughs> I'm assuming it's pronounced... Um, Toridor? Maybe? I think so. <laughs> but yeah. Toridor. <laughs> Toe reader. <laughs> so instead of reading palms, they read toes. Yeah, got kind of a foot fetish thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Vampire the Kindred. That's a name I've heard in a while. Kindred. Yeah, there used to be um, a movie called The Kindred. I thought it had to do with werewolves. Oh, usually vampires use kindred or something to that effect. Well, there is a vampire TV series, I think, on it. It's a John Carpenter movie. Hmm. So... Or maybe it was Carp Stephen Carpenter. Sorry. Base sheet. It was a real low budget thing. Oh, okay. So apparently those are buttons, and they don't do anything. That's odd. So which one are you going to pick? Um, I'm leaning toward the toe readers. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they seem a bit more stealthy and... I don't know if they're... Mm. I'm not sure if they're big on magic. I always like ones that are... I'm a sucker for mages. Which I think would either be the Toe Readers or... The pursuit of arcane knowledge comes before all else. So they're... Wow, some of them have physics and some of them don't. <laughs> Seems to be if they have attractive legs or not. That is just me. Yeah, I, th I think that has a lot to do with it. <laughs> you know. Programmers are bored sometimes. Okay, so these are the guys with the blood magic. But they cannot raise their physical attribute, which means they can't be very good with the speech and intimidation and stuff like that. I kind of like how some of the ones that can kind of talk their way out of stuff. That makes for less um, combat, which is always a good thing. Uh. So is this uh, the Masquerade Bloodlines or Redemption, or is it just the original? Uh, this is Bloodlines. Redemption is more of a traditional third-person action game. Um, okay, so that's uh, not as old as I thought it was. It's 2004. This one is? Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, because uh -huh. the Redemption, that one, I do remember, that one does look substantially older. Because that one, you play a crusader that's hunting vampires and gets turned into a vampire and then wakes up in the modern era or something and basically goes and hunts vampires even though he is one or something crazy like that. Well, yeah, kind of blade. Yeah, and it even has multiple endings that I think changes all of like three seconds of the <laughs> cinematic. <laughs> so it's like you have the good ending which gives you this three seconds, you have the bad ending that gives you this three seconds, and you think you have a neutral ending that gives you a different three seconds. 
Hmm. Okay, so... Pity the guys, I had to play it again to figure that out. What? I said I pitied the guys who played it oh. multiple <laughs> times to figure that out. Well, usually, you, at least with some of, I think, earlier games, the um, multiple endings basically came down to a single decision at the very end of the game. So you could save it right before, like, the final boss. And then just reload that and do like a different thing each time. I don't oh, remember. I, I don't remember if the redemption one, if that actually required playing the entire game differently. It's obviously something like um, um, isn't The Witcher kind of like that? Witcher and The Witcher Two. I never really played all The Witcher. I played some of it. But a buddy of mine is just swore by it. He thought it was the greatest game ever. Yeah, I, I thought that game had something where decisions you made actually affected events further on in the game rather than... Well, it's like Mass Effect does that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like doing A causes B. Mm -hmm. In most games, where in this, it's like doing A causes X. Okay, so do I want to be a guy or a girl? I'm going to be a toe reader. They have red hair. For a minute there, I thought there were three sexes. <laughs> <laughs> female, female, and male. Or mm. male, hey. female, male. That's always good. <laughs> Manger à toi. <laughs> I have no idea what the difference is, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe go with the guy. Ooh, spec sheets. Um, oh, I always love trying to figure. <laughs> they right before you start the game, they uh, I expect you to oh. know what all this means. Yeah, and, and here use your points. Well, oh, gee, I don't know. Uh, give me all the mental skills <laughs> and knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Now I can't fight, and I'm dying all the time. Hmm. Or I have enough, not enough magic points. Um, I guess we'll do one of that. Um, I guess maybe melee. Um, well, dexterity and strength, and then you have. Uh... See that I can only, <laughs> I can only use one in skills, two in knowledges, and then three of them in talent. So it's like, I have three, but only certain number for each column. Mm -hmm. It's it's weird. Okay, I'm dodging is probably a good thing. Brawling is probably good and intimidation or subterfuge. Subterfuge. Yeah, that's If you're good. playing stealthy. So, yeah, I think I wanna let's try stealth. Um wits is defense and hacking. Oh I'm gonna be doing computers scholarship for persuasion I think I want persuasion so maybe do intelligence um, we'll do charisma and manipulation those buttons still don't do anything okay Let's see, a day in the life of a toe reader. Ooh. Can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
It's Leisure Suit Larry the Masquerade. Or somewhere. So apparently, I just became a vampire. Oh. Whoa. Okay. You just got staked. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was short. <laughs> Excuse me while I order some steaks. <laughs> For disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. That is one big it's news. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our societies, the laws that are the So a stake to the heart only incapacitates them? Well, I remember from the old days that if you pull the stake, a uh, stake roots you to the grave. If you pull up the stake, then it, the vampires would rebuild themselves. Oh, come back to, come back to un, un life so and then rise again, right? Putting the stake to the heart re-kills them and pointing out unkills them. Yes. Or something. Pretty much. It has to do with the old original Transylvanian legend that in order to prevent a, like an unholiness or a body from rising from the grave again, you would put a stake through its heart to keep it there. Ah. They found some graves recently with stakes in them. Oh, nice. I mean, that were buried a long, long time ago. And there wasn't much left but the bones and the stake? Pretty much. <laughs> Forgive me. But I remember that, I think, from one of the, Let the penalty Bella Lugosi Dracula movies where Van Helsing stakes him. And then oh. in the next movie, someone comes along and pulls the stake out and he, like, <laughs> turns him from a skeleton back into Bella Lugosi. Most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place. Their responsibility. Okay, so apparently when you also cut off a vampire's head, they disintegrate. Ah, uh, that kills him, yes. I have decided that this is bullshit! Watch your tongue, dude. I'm not quite sure what he was all upset about, but... They're not sure either. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, ooh, puzzly. <laughs> Boy, that guy in the back is one ugly dude. He's... Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. So he lets the new vampire live, but then kills the old one. Yeah, I guess the idea is, is that uh, there can only be so many in a population. I don't know. Kind of goes with the, the remember the old mo uh, the book there, Anne Rice series, I Vampire. I Vampire. I remember. I don't think I've seen that. I've seen a comic book I Zombie. Well, there's a comic book, I think, too, called... No, there's American Vampire, but there's also I Vampire. Oh, I've read American Vampire. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the Anne Rice one. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible... Interview with a Vampire. So, okay. What I'm offering is Interview with the vampire. There was a thing about you know the vampires had a, to transcend the fate a set of rules, you know, sort of general guidelines. Yeah. And when one of them one of them takes her, her mother, it's a small child, and it bites her mother. She makes her mother into a vampire or something like that. So they kill both of them. Oh. <laughs> nice. So I'm going to Santa Monica to, to do something. <laughs> Isn't that a song? I'm going to Santa Monica. <laughs> what a scene, man. Hooey. <laughs> is floppy out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Uh, look out. It's probably a lot easier to take in. So, uh, let's let me show you the ropes. Wait a second. 
That's probably a good idea. His voice sounds familiar. It is. I just don't mean the fact that he's uh, kind of stereotyping it. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I could use the help. Bare bones, haha. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? A drink of what? What? Oh man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha ha ha. Oh, you're gonna love this. Alright, check it out. Blood, it's a new Get ready though, cause hey. Okay, so. <laughs> this guy's, uh. A real deadhead <laughs> for blood. Uh huh. Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human, or I still be can't find his car. <laughs> Dude. Oh boy. He's really stereotyping it up. Oh, here. That's interesting. I, I've always wondered how this how this works. Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure oh, come on. No explanation? Be sure not to train and drive, okay? Might be hard to resist, but don't kill Alright. This is your blood pool. <laughs> Man, those are some... Horrible textures on the HUD. Hmm. I don't know. I, I just thought it was the hangout kind of freezing them. No, they look genuinely, genuinely awful. <laughs> I don't know if that is the game or if there is something in a setting somewhere that it's not. Well, this <laughs> Source Engine kind of reminds me of. It's not the uh, Half-Life 2 Source Engine, it's the Half-Life Engine. You know, the Counter-Strike, it's sort of Counter-Striking. Blight the bomb! <laughs> <laughs> so the... Oh. <laughs> I suppose I should get closer before actually attempting... Trying to bite him? Yeah. So you can't drain all his blood. Okay, we'll just drain most of it. I'll just shove him against the wall, you know. So I'm assuming he's knocked out, otherwise he would have some very strange mm -hmm. stories to tell. Some kind of, um, you know, um, it's like a mosquito, you inject you with something that makes you forget the last 15 minutes or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about. Right He's kind of Rasputinish. These, they're the the eyes are so freaky. I think there's a um, reflection glitch or something because they keep kind of flickering in and out. Well. The, they keep rolling back. <laughs> it's like a slot machine. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> is he looking behind in one? Like, is he like crazy Mad Eye Mooney or something? And... <laughs> That's what's freaking me out. Is, I mean, I, he's looking at you with the right eye. Whoop, then the left eye just, or his, his right eye just keeps flipping around. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something going on with the eye models. They're kind of. Not working properly. It's it's. <laughs> I just can't help but see it now. And then he and then he sort of tilts his head up and they just go bonkers. It's 
the blood, man. She rolls your eyes right back. <laughs> I'm gonna live forever. That sounds cool. You can still be destroyed, but forget the books and food. Garlic, work. A cross, shove it right up their ass. A steak, only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. <laughs> Oh, so they're going for that type of vampire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. the, uh, you need the Sunblock 1000. <laughs> SPF 3001. Mm -hmm. Or two, maybe it was 2001. But yeah, there, I, there are some vampire interpretations I have heard. The um, sunlight just makes there's... them weak. Yeah, vampire bund, they could put some kind of... Uh, like cream on and walk around as long as it was overcast <laughs> yeah or if they kept themselves properly shaded mm -hmm. so something's going down I'm gonna see his we'll meet a what use icon no I don't want that no what, which? E. Okay. Oh, standard uh, source. Why? I don't want to be using... Space bar to jump. No, quit using my power. How do you stop it? How do, how do you cancel a power? Am I supposed to be jumping on something and jump up on the car and then jump over on those shelves, the boxes, whatever? Platforming. Ooh. Lock pick. I have lock pick. The Sabbat. The Sabbat. Um. What would the Sabbat stand for? Sabbatical? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, but that didn't quite make sense. What's the Prince of Prince of? Are they like there are only just four different endings in this one. Oh really? Hmm. For each vampire type or just general all vampires get the same ending? Not sure, because it calls one the Cam Camarilla, the Kujin, the LaCroix, oh. and the An Anarchs. Oh Indians. right. The Sabbat are the werewolves. So I guess if you side with someone. Ouch. Okay, well that was some magic. Dumb frenzied Sabbat bastards. Alright, we gotta go move stuff to back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I think there needs to be an option where you can become a vampire and a werewolf. I can't open that door. Door's locked. Use the lock picking. Ooh, I'm picking a lock. 
apparently I succeeded. Wow. Did he go through the wall? <laughs> kind of. Because <laughs> he, he was in the other room. Ah, uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? <laughs> I had my moments. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes for the most sabot asshole. You're a big, bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go more and you reach your chest. Oops. Still got what? The same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a pleasure like you. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampires. Ah, so we have enforcers. Mm hmm. And that's one of the endings. You become an enforcer, or you destroy the enforcers? I guess is which side you throw your Tell weight you to, right? Some other time, I like to let people form their own. So can you like side with the old vampire ways or like keeping the whole masquerade thing? And then you can also side with the not keeping the masquerade thing? Or do you basically have to keep the masquerade either way? Uh, not sure, because it all has to do with who gets betrayed and what happens at the end, right? Or maybe you just take over the masquerade. Because there's the prince, there's the camera, there's this Cajun guy, and there's Anarx. Hmm. So basically, there's this MacGuffin called the Sarcophagus, right? And it's who you support or don't support for this control of the sarcophagus. Because there's a fifth option, which is that you don't support any of them. You're just uh, every man for himself. Mm -hmm. It's apparently mostly the same as one of the endings, but. Brother downtown garage. So, he said I need a key. Man, these are some ugly textures. Oh, oh, I can pick up a chair. And I can throw the chair. Have a seat. Can I open this? No. Here, how am I? Why don't you reboot the hard drive? <laughs> Ooh, a note. Password chop shop. Okay, so now I can use the computer. Welcome, Jack. Type menu. Um, <laughs> available menus. Safe. Safe. <laughs> Simple. Mm. Chop shop. Not real subtle on what they do. No. Um, available. Unlock. Unlock. Keeping things really simple. Safe door unlocked. Um, exit. Take. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from the top side. Right. Creepiest tutorial uh, guy ever. Where? You must have had the chair in your hand. No, the chair was over where he was. So when he disappeared, the chair flung itself at me. Either that or he threw the chair at me. Physics, physics glitch. 
Yeah, when his um mass departed <laughs> from the game, the chair didn't know what to do with itself. <laughs> Uh, aren't Havoc physics fun? Mm. Well, this is a rather old game. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, he's behind Oh! Ouch. Oof. Foosh! Hey, grab the gun! Ooh, yeah. Probably don't know how to use it. Where did it go? Hey, where would the... Gee. Where? It was right there! What did I... Oh, that game. <laughs> it, went, it wouldn't let me out. Tease! What a tease! <laughs> you'd, you'd Here's draw. this Mach 10 machine gun! <laughs> Uzi, whatever it was. Yeah, it looked, it looked like an Uzi or something, like an automatic yeah. um, pistol. Yeah. Drop it right in front of me and then just disappear. Yep. That's no fair. Fucking waste of unlike. Come again? Look at them potholes. Those clothes up soon enough. Better feed them. There's someone down the stairs here. Not the freshest catch, but it'll do. I didn't even get shot. Now, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and low life don't pack the same punch to help you well. Ah, so you have to eat organic humans. <laughs> yeah, you know those Burger King humans they just don't taste as good as the uh the caviar humans. <laughs> yeah, the CEOs and the executive managers, you know, those those guys are they're real quality there. But what does a PhD have to do with their blood? That sounds more like a zombie thing. Remember what I said though, don't kill them. Yeah, as you said, it comes down to organic, whether they're fresh or not, right? Well, a CEO could be eating all junk food, and your blue-collar factory worker could be eating all healthy and whatnot. Yeah, well, that's why it's stereotyped. <laughs> it's a bunch of music uh, license to this game. The what? So there's a bunch of music. Oh. <clears throat> oh, apparently there was an official soundtrack through Best Buy. Oh, nice. What it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. They'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. I, 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 I said innocent. Some asshole levels a 12 gauger where you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation is the final part of humanity. <laughs> My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> I imagine. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Alright, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Um, he said downstairs. I still hear gunfire. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, he does drain fast. Okay, now what? That scarf. Why did you bite the scarf? Well, give it a try. Oh, now I get to feed on rats. How lovely. Where are the rats? I think you have to go downstairs again. And it. Can you, can you move, please? Um, I, <laughs> I'd like to use the door. Well, maybe it's not downstairs. Is 
there a lock on this thing somewhere? No. Maybe I need to go back. I better be able to improve my jumping ability. <laughs> Ooh, there's a rat. How do I get the rat? Is there an attack there? Wow. Nummy. Kill them. Yeah, I think that those were like single use items. Hello. Now we're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so you know, a light vampire society looks down on that guy's name. Polite vampire society. Uh yeah, so there's an oxymoron. Got someone around the way. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more shout range. You may have to see stealth tutorial. Sure didn't seem too worried about all those other guys he was murdering. So that's the great thing about some of these games, you know. What you do and what they say is two different things. Yeah. Okay. So the control button is crouch, as always. Now, who the heck am I looking? Oh, there's a dude over there. So where is, oh, it's over here. Oh, it's a werewolf. Yes, I I'm guessing that's what they are. What the? Oh. Where am I supposed to be going exactly? <laughs> I'm not seeing this garage he spoke of. What's that number that keeps going up and down? Is that like a stealth meter? It's something like that. There's the little bar and then there's the little glowy thing with a number. <clears throat> I don't well, know the, the better hidden you are, the more... Oh, so the number is the visibility. If it's zero, he can't see me. Or I'm not, I'm not visible. Okay. The Makes bar, sense. I think, is something to do with the noise, maybe? I don't know, because it seems to go up when I'm near things. Maybe it's how much cover you have. But when it's down, like, it seems to be better when it's down. Yeah. So that's weird, because I'm out here in the... Oh. Yeah, but if you turn left, you'll see that he can see you. Because he's right to your left, isn't he? So if I'm over here, I have very little cover. If I move over here, then I have more cover. Maybe. Okay. So where is this garage? Because there are... There's a gate. Why is it a warning? Yeah, because there's nothing over there. There's a wooden gate over there that looks like something I could be using. Oh, and he locked me out, of course. Can I drive the forklift? Hmm. 
Okay. So I'm a bit confused here. Can I? Oh, he turns around. See so if I could sneak up behind him. But he, he turns whichever way I'm facing. That's no fair. So I can't sneak up behind him. I should make sure the hangout is still active. So this game actually killed the, um, it was so delayed and there was so much poor sales that it actually killed the uh, game company. Really? Yeah, it was tro tro Troika. Troika. Huh. I remember the game name of the game company, but. Wow. It was pretty buggy. It was re unfortunately it was also released the same day Half-Life 2 was. <laughs> well, that's what did it. Uh pretty much cuz everybody was well, I don't know about you, but I was playing Half-Life 2 like you wouldn't believe. Actually, I was playing Portal because Portal <laughs> <laughs> I bought the orange box and Portal was amazing. Hmm. Then I played Half-Life 2. <laughs> I've actually played that game a couple of times. I don't know, but you. I still haven't played uh, any of the Half-Life games. I need to do that. Yeah, I've never finished the first one. <laughs> we got it about, oh, probably three quarters or more played. But Judging from the long play I've seen, it looks like it gets pretty tricky toward the end. Yeah, I'm stuck in one spot there, and I just kind of... Like, there's a lot of platforming segments that are kind of mm -hmm. odd to navigate, and then, of course, you got all the enemies that are outgunning you. Ammo is in short supply. Guns are in short supply. There are yeah. some secrets. Like, you actually have to really work to find some of this extra stuff, so. And where am I supposed to go? Okay, now he's looking for me. Half-Life 2 is just so much better of a game. It looks amazing. It plays great. The physics is really good. It's not so much platforming as a physics platforming. Oh, I've been detec detected. Came over. So, where am I supposed to go? There's no. I see no doors. I mean, that's kind of a door. I found a double door and I can't open it. Or maybe that's a button. Is that a button? Nope. <laughs> it's something. That's just a thing. Oh, so he goes over there. Oh, but then he comes back. How? I think I'm supposed to go to that wooden fence over there. You almost need to come up from behind him, but he's always going to look at you, right? Yeah, he turns. Yeah. Every time I get near him, he turns wherever I am. And like when I... It's hard to see, too. Yeah, and then whenever, when I first approach him, he there's that gunfire in the other alley, and he goes up to walk over there and, you know, explodes and blah, blah, blah. But then there's, like, no time to run over to the fence. Hmm. Nice, we can drive a forklift. <clears throat> Cause Oh wait, here's a door. Man, you just Keep quiet, they're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry. He's probably
So, so where's this qu quest log? Um, it was L. Aha, there we go. So, F1 equips. Oh, goody. I always love when games use the function keys. Ouch. Ow. Well, that wasn't much. He dropped a tire iron. Do I finally get a weapon now? <laughs> this is a half life. <laughs> <laughs> I am Gordon Freeman, the vampire. I have crowbar. Um, where's my equip stuff? Right there. Pull down. Ah, there it is. Uh. Now you're just a thug in a hoodie with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that's his, iron. actually, that's his hair. That, buddy, God, how does he even get in there? Like, I know, he just goes through the walls. Of course. Is he secretly like the bad guy or something? He's always gonna be there in a minute. Never quite know what he's doing. Where is it? Did I go in the wrong? Can you way? open up that grate? Ah. Yeah, I suppose it would help if I wouldn't stand on <laughs> it. Standing on it. <laughs> this is so half life. Uh, yeah. Half life with better faces. Oh, hello. Oops. <laughs> oh, I can still sell them even though I whacked the door. So, oh. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. Okay. Disciplines. Oh, I get to use disciplines. Blood buff. So there's no lock picking me the game. Failed. Ah, uh, your lock picking skill below lock difficulty three. Oh, so I have to use my thingy, my blood buff, and that increases my lock picking skills. And I still fail. Or you have to go in and actually use your skill points and upgrade your lock picking because they're making you do it. Do I have where's? I for inventory or no? Hmm. Ooh, he's he's glowing purple now. So. Um, sheet. Here we go. That doesn't help me. Lock picking right there over on the other side. Under feet. Lock 
luck picking that one, but I can't actually do anything with it. Head downstairs through the building. You already know that. Can't I just bash it? I mean, really. Can you move that, uh, there's a door behind oh, the, uh... Yes. Um, bush? Hmm. Or can you crawl in underneath? Uh, nope. No crawling. Hmm. I am truly the master at failing tutorials. <laughs> I, I'm not <laughs> figuring this one out either. Um, I can't pick the lock. And he can't do anything with the door. So, um, go on ahead, just keep it down. Ahead, just keep it... Go where? Oh, this one's passive. Like picking a lock, that other way be to. But I use that. I used my blood buff power. Oh! I have different powers. I can cycle with the scroll wheel. Uh huh. Can I now pick the lock? Oh. Yes, I'm still here. Yes. Okay. Good time to save, yeah. So, does it... It does auto-save at certain points. Okay. Open. Okay, so I can... run really fast. I have a second sight. And... inspire fear and awesomeness. Awesome fear man. <laughs> I am an awesome vampire. So I'm supposed to Ouch. Yay for clicky combat. Of course, the axe disappears too. No need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. He seems to know way too much about what's going on. <laughs> Almost like it was scripted. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Present. It's a mystically project your personality. Oh, so I can frighten. So I can make myself all sparkly and awesome. <laughs> Even before Twilight, vampires were sparkly.
you need some blood. Ooh, yeah. There are masquerade areas and super speed levels two through five is a masquerade violation. So level one and six and above aren't? <laughs> <laughs> Meaning that... But you can um, only do it on a Sunday, but every other week is good. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Uh, and only you on know, a full moon. I movie. hate it when they make rules up just to be obtuse, you know? Rules for the sake of rules. Mm. Okay, so now I move really fast. But it's apparently not helping me much. Wow, I feel <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a turn-based RPG. <laughs> it's Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I hit, you hit. I hit, you hit. Block, hit, hit, block. You die. <laughs> So that speed did absolutely nothing for me. Pick up an object and throw it. Ooh, I can... What? Oh, I'm supposed to sneak. Yeah, and you throw something to distract him and then you come up behind him and... So see if you can grab one of those boxes there or whatever it is. Cans Sardine cans. Sardines. Throw it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw it exactly <laughs> where you are so you'll know exactly where you are. Uh, well, yeah, so then, then I move, so then he'll come to where I was. So use my vampire speed. Seriously, don't think you heard it. <laughs> I have to how do I... Hi. Um... How do I throw? You got Ooh. it. Sabat Thug says, ha? Why do you say ha? Is he trying to say Did hi? he just see you? No. But I threw the thing. Well, you're gonna throw another one. Oops. No. No. Over there. Where'd it go? You are so not playing baseball. <laughs> oh, there. No, 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 no. There. Where'd it go? Where? He's not. I don't think he heard either one of them. He's he running there and beat the crap out of him. Paying attention. Okay. Now I have to go get them. Oop, he saw me. Huh. Okay. Oops. There's gotta be a better way of throwing stuff. You would think so. I have yet to find it though. Wow, one of them standing up on end. How'd that happen? <laughs> Man, you, you would think a vampire would be able to throw a decent... Oh, he's moving. No, not toward me, toward the can. I 
Throw it over here. No. Throw it over here. Can I go get it? No, no, don't look at me. Get the can. Oh, seriously? <laughs> I was trying to make a dash for it. Throw the can, left, or right, go left, beat the crap out of him. Do your speed thing. Unfortunately, it won't let me beat the crap out of him. As soon as he see, me, see as soon as he sees me, then the game shuts down. Yeah, come on. Go over there. That's it. Go look at the can. I'm just gonna head toward the door. There we go. Go through the door. Seriously, that guy goes through walls. <laughs> Why doesn't he tell us the other way of getting there, which is obviously faster and safer? Yeah, whatever his, whatever way he's taking, we need to take that way. Useless against vampires. Well, well yeah. yeah. Some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch. Those things can smart, I tell you. Head up and clear out what's left. Can't have them running their mouths out of you. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. I now have a pea shooter. Because I... Oh, okay, so F1 are my melee weapons, F2 are my ranged weapons. That's convenient. No, I want a gun. No, I... <laughs> okay, how do I use a gun? Got one bottle. <clears throat> Um, seriously, I hit the bottle dead on. <laughs> Shoot the rat. <laughs> Man, he moves, doesn't he? No, <laughs> he just sucked his blood. <laughs> that means something. Okay. Well, Oops. at least he died for the use. Open the... So I can't open that door. Oh, elevator. That's right, he said something about an elevator. Press one or two, maybe? I, I don't know. Am I... I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Hello. Ooh, baseball bat. Is he dead? Apparently, but I can't feed on him, which is dumb. Hello. Why can't you feed on him? Well, maybe because he bled out, I don't know. <laughs> oh, naturally. So I got some ammo, apparently. Now, where's the exit? Or do I need to go back to the first floor? Oh, <laughs> seriously, dude. What route are you taking? That's it, kiddo. Just like that, it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Harry Dodge, Spin, and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. So this is normal. Honest, came at a, uh, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat. Uh, in LA, these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, 
We got every ancient kindred rivalry. Ah. So we got two new factions fighting all the old factions. A lot of jittery high strung predators claim that they're little pieces of eternity. You're losing me here, Jack. Thanks. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's a bar downtown here. So first floor. <laughs> that's the stuff that'll Maybe. <laughs> the elevator panel's dulled out. I have experience points. Yay. Hello, who's talking? Sounds like a radio. If you're new to town or just new to town, At all contemporary. Oh, okay. Pill bottle. Now, here's another question. Do I have a reflection? I apparently don't have a mirror. Nice poster. How many boats do you own? At your convenience, please come to our I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Oh joy. A riddle. What's the password there? Sunrise. Uh, that's what I thought it was. So I guess you can go email. I like everything so DOS. <laughs> you know, they didn't have GUIs back in like 2004, right? No, of Windows course not. Windows-based systems. <clears throat> all, all the good kindred run Linux command line. Well, naturally, don't you? Okay. I hate that glide on some of these um, first-person games. Really? Because that's handy. <laughs> when you learn to use the glide, you can slide <laughs> in sideways through a door instead of having to turn and go through. Uh, that's awesome. Pop back out. <laughs> Pop back in. So I, I, I'm still not used to this whole first person thing, so it feels really weird when you just tap a direction and you just kind of skid across the floor. Well, it used to be able to, that if you did a couple of the keys at the mouse, you could do what they call the circle of death, where you could spin around an opponent keeping the same radius. Oh, nice. It was a doom... <clears throat> doom thing and it was just a matter of massaging the W and the D key for example and running the mouse at the same time and you would get this nice circle of death so it was great because you get it behind someone you could always kind of keep behind them yeah I, I can do that fairly well with um, uh, thumbsticks um, that's how I do a lot of the Mm -hmm. A lot of my magic casting in like Skyrim or Oblivion is you do that circle strafe deal. Yeah, it's circle strafing. It's exactly what it is. Never tried to do it. Never done it very well with a mouse and keyboard. Well, circle strafing was mouse and keyboard long before it <laughs> became sticks. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned on the sticks. I didn't have the mouse and keyboard to play first person games because I didn't have computers that could actually play them yeah I learned it on Doom and then when I went to Descent 
played the scent, which was the next big 3D game after that, um, you could do because it was really uh, almost 3D because you had your X, Y, and Z axis in it, like flying spaceships around. I don't know if you ever played that at Descent or not. No, I have it, but I haven't actually played it. That's something you sh we could do for IR Gamer sometime. Um, it uh, it had uh, circle strafing. It was real handy with uh, with when you were fighting multiplayer because you could do multiplayer modem modem. Uh huh. Which was good as long as you had machines of equivalent performance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if somebody had a nice gaming rig. Well, it was a machine. That, uh, the game itself was asynchronous, and it's um, a network protocol. That would be. So if you had a, fa and we actually proved this, that if you had a, a 486.33, for example, and you were playing a guy on a 66 megahertz 486, he actually put out twice the number of packets that you had, so therefore he shot you twice as much. <laughs> And it uh, wasn't necessary that he fired twice the bullets. It, what it was is that because it was asynchronous, every bullet he fired hit you. With, but with you, only half the bullets you fired actually hit him. The rest of them kind of were just packets that never got sent out. Huh. Is that, that is the best way I could explain it. Um, the thing is, is that they had a performance enhancement. And the... F and if you came along and played someone, then you you had your 486 and you played someone with the Pentium 90 or even a Pentium 60, they kicked your butt. Huh. Because the three of us that played a lot were all of equivalent skill level. But one of them had a P90, the other guy had a 486 and I had a 33 megahertz machine. And I figured this out by using a Pentium 120 one day. <laughs> and, fi and suddenly you were much better. Oh, I was kicking their butts. <laughs> See, Doom had a synchronous protocol, which why it kind of fell apart after four players. They, like it flooded a, network, a 10 megabit network would flood with four players on it. Just so uh, yeah. much network traffic, and it was trying to keep everything adjusted, and it would fail, and you would dump out of the game, basically. At least that's what I found with four players on it. It was three players was better, more reliable. Human vampire hunters. You got, you got some change, mister? <laughs> you hungry? I am too. Hmm, we seem to be alone in this alley. Fancy that. Yeah. So they give you a nice drink to start off. Ooh, cutscene. Man, look at the way he walks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't expect anybody to like, walk like that to be a vampire. <laughs> what the heck is that guy doing? Blood on the street. Something's fishy here. Hello. Uh, yes, is there something I can uh, help you with? What are you doing? <laughs> Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town this time of night. Man, those eyes. Place, yeah. There's something seriously them. glitchy with the eyes. The pupils are white. Right, I'm a little short on cash right now. The, the iris is white, right? Or not that's the iris. The, I that's... guess it's the pupil. There's a glitch with the light, with the lighting that reflects off their eyes really weird. So, okay, so. What's 
what's going on in here. Hello. Um. Hi. What are you doing? Mothers, rip me off. I'm dying here. Are you? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm. Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. Shite me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Well, one of them certainly looks like it. You want me to call an ambulance? An amber lamp. Don't touch that phone. No goddamn cops. I got. I went. What is this? Oh, is my rib? <laughs> Shit, my rib is smoking through my side. Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. It's a broken bottle. <laughs> yep, that's a rib. I verified his organization seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed, his crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie fricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. What's the astrolite? <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to figure it out too. <laughs> Did I mess something? Uh, yeah, was there a MacGuffin you forgot to mention? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Oh, interesting. Where do I, so where do I find the astrolite now? And what the heck is it? Sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. So it's explosives of some type. Maybe. Well, he talked about explosives, and he talked about astrolite, and them both having it, so. Down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. Those better not be some of my last words. You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Maybe kill them all. <laughs> yeah, that kill works. Him. Kill them all. Kill them all with my tire wrench. Well, you got a pistol too. Oh well, no. I, I think he might have taken that. Oh, oh, of course. Just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I'll bring something One back. Thing. How about the deal? I mean it. If you tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. If you don't say anything, I can help you out. Boy, this phone's taking a long time to charge. Hopefully that means it has a good battery. 1500 milliamp. Huh? It's not... Well, apparently it's good for because the screen's small. Oh yeah, that'll definitely that help. It's the exact same phone as the Arc, but smaller. Like it's got the same resolution screen, uh, eight forty-eight by four eighty. Just smaller. Just smaller. It's a three point three inch screen. So apparently it's like getting days of like three days worth of stand you know basic power and my my iphone gets about four days so it's comparable and it's a replaceable battery man everybody walks like that <laughs> <laughs> so this blood clinic <laughs> <laughs> At a tattoo parlor. I don't know. Come again? What, vampire? What day are you smoking? Oh, come on. Oh, man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. Just come clean, you know? I mean, oh, man. I ain't gonna tell you.
Yeah, I saw him. Oh, wow, his are even bigger. Hell yeah! Oh man, I knew it! I just, oh jeez, I knew you and I just could You don't want to lose your masquerade points, so you better drag him into an alley and Yeah, drag. I'm thinking something needs to happen here. This guy's getting really annoying. Oh, okay. Well, all of a sudden, bam! Oh, man! Vampires are real and whack there in front of my eyes! Blue, my goddamn body! So, ghouls are like vampire servants or something? Well, the way it was explained to me, never a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood. So, that's what that other guy would be then. Power. Yeah. Apparently it makes you crazy and um, <laughs> sort of strung out like a drug addict or something. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that. It's, it's um... like speed blood. <laughs> <laughs> or <cra> meth blood. <laughs> I, 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 uh, screw you! I don't need this. Yeah, he seriously you know, has a problem. Not. So, what's in here? Because that guy said he also wanted some painkillers, so I suppose... Flash, why Please, the... Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Yes, spooky eyes. There's definitely a uh, right, texture corruption here. Yeah, I'm... I'm not quite sure what's going on. Okay, so I persuaded the, let, the lady to let me through. So where is the supply closet? <laughs> oh, that's that's a room. That is a total waste of space. Um. Up here, I typed in "vampire the masquerade eyes" and a. Everything popped up. Creepy eyes glitch. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you get rid of it? Uh, you apparently the could be a gra apparently it's a graphic driver issue. Uh, right, the graphics have gotten too new and. What? Uh, Sir, can you hear me? You might have to fire up the game and pick a particular uh, DX level. Uh, um, what happened here? I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Hey, was that uh, the guy from Futurama? <laughs> oh, well, it's Jamaican, man. <laughs> Another, what is this guy doing on the table? What did you do? You have blood all over you. Yes, he pee blood. <laughs> I'll get to you when I'm not sure I want you to get to me. Yeah. I'm not liking what you did to that guy. There's a scalpel over there. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna. There's. Hello. What exactly is going on here? <laughs> yes. Would you like to say something? Oh, here we go. That's interesting. Maybe these people are ghouls in training. Just bite the whole shirt. And you get a serious problem with her neck. Uh, 
I like the glasses look. <laughs> they hide the eyes. You like you... that? That's scaring the room. Who... who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, I'm just a nurse. <laughs> Yeah, it really looks like a nurse. But you did something. I, I kissed your wrist. Oh, is that what you called it? I feel it inside of me. What did you do? Hmm. I'm curious to see where this is going to go. Do you get to recruit companions in this game? Mm, sounds sort of like you can. So either you tell her now that you're a vampire and that she's a ghoul, so then she'll follow you, or you say nothing and she tracks you down, demanding explanation, and then you tell her and then she follows you would be the standard game logic. Yeah, but one game is like you can't you could you could you lose your masquerade points, right? Exactly. <clears throat> so, I think you play safe and go one. You I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. <laughs> Oh, the, wow, they're going to give you multiple um, chances. So does that mean you're supposed to tell her, or... Huh. Yeah. It's always weird when they give you... set when, they, when you make a decision and they bring up the exact same choice again. Yeah, exactly. It's like, are you trying to tell me something not so subtly? Hmm. Go with one again? Yeah, why not? Okay, so that just leaves. Okay. Um, let's try something. I'm curious, I'm, I want to see just how blatant they're going to be about this. If we go up and talk to you again... I just need... No. Okay, so. I just need. Okay, so they're not going to give you the dialogue option again. No. They're going to be really blatant about it. Go talk to her again. They give you the exact same dialogue wheel again. Oh, I see what it is. Cool. They actually have multiple irises. The what? They actually have multiple irises and pupils in their eyes. And of course, you only see the little bit of the white stuck in between them. And that's why they look so crazily white. Because somebody had a patch of it. Oh. Anyways, I put a, in the chat, uh, I put a note. You have to basically run the game with a direct X level of 7 or 8. Oh, okay. You know, the fact that we're running DirectX 11 10 now. Or 11 or whatever it is at. Yeah. And I've had this with a few other older programs where you had to kind of tell it to run the older version. Because the implementations of how they do some of the stuff is different. Yeah, I've played some games. I know there was like an old 98 or XP game, Zoo Tycoon, when I tried playing on Vista. Um, mm -hmm. some, some of the options in the game would disappear. So there were points where you actually could not complete the game because it says, click this option to change this whatever and to do this. That button isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's nothing to click there. Uh, 
But yeah, Oblivion had a creepy eye glitch too, but that was if you were using mods. And if you install the facial mod and like an eye texture mod incorrectly, it basically mapped the eye textures weird. And it literally looked like their eye texture was all over the entire eye and was kind of rolled all over the place. So you'd get like half their eye up top and half their eye on the bottom and it looked even worse than this. I'm sure if you Google Oblivion Eye Glitch, you'll get similar results. Hello. I stuck in the elevator. <laughs> I'm guessing that means out of order. Kind of reminds me of uh, Mercy Hospital here. Yeah, I'm liking the atmosphere of this game. It's definitely, definitely some nice touches, despite the um, incredible ugliness of the textures. Yeah, I think it was, it's because this is on the, the the old. It almost looks like old Counter Strike. It's like the Half Life engine, not the Half Life Two engine. Yeah, there's some serious uh, either you've, you know. And it could be something what related to the this whole direct X problem that you're having with the eyes. Yeah, I wonder if there's some texture mods. See that it's because like Oblivion or I mean Morrowind, you know, it was a really old computer game, and the, you know, just to play it, it looks pretty ugly. <laughs> yeah. But if you, yeah. I I found and there's like oh, this whole Morrowind overhaul project. Where they yeah, literally, textures. yeah, they completely overhauled all the graphics, and it looks almost as good as Oblivion or Skyrim. I mean, just the water detail and the character models, and obviously you still have to deal with the confinements of the engine itself, but the, it looks beautiful for how old it is. Those um skirt physics like to glitch out. The magic of skirts. <laughs> it's like you're wa you're sort of walking around and you just see the skirt kind of flicker around and So that guy wanted like aspirin or pain medication or something. But I have no idea where you would get something. Instant cash. Pawn shop. Tattoos. Hookers. Bombs. Who are you? Uh, I can't talk to you. That's dumb. You can't talk to everybody. What did your log say? I think, what do we have? Surf's up, Carnival of Death. Gruesome Romance. Did I get quests from the TV? The TV mentioned something about mm -hmm. something. Huh. Nice. Painkillers. Where would I find painkillers? And there's... I can highlight words. Interesting. Hmm. So where would I find painkillers? Need to find some um, texture packs for this. Asylum. Okay. The asylum. Megahertz computers. 
Oh wow, the city goes back a ways. Foxy boxes. Okay. Beach, diner, the asylum. What is the asylum? Smoke shop. <clears throat> so this would actually be a really cool game to be remade now. <clears throat> There's some skin mods. Well, that'll help some. There's a um, couple of clan quest mods. Yeah, it's usually pretty standard. Naturally, you can talk to the hookers. Blood bank downstairs. Subtle, aren't we? There's an eye replacement mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice. There's a couple of them that were... Uh, there's a resolution patch that kind of fixes some stuff. See, there, there, that's what they need, because there are some... Some of these texture... It's probably a DirectX thing again, but mm -hmm. some of the textures in the HUD are just so blurry. They're completely illegible. Yeah, I just seen a screenshot and of that pretty much that street. Oh, I can go down in the sewer. Nice. Do I have to crouch? Yes. Oh yeah, because you can play as those Nosferatu those guys, and they basically can't be go around any humans because they're so ugly. Right. So there's a whole underground network. Nice. I'm kind of liking this game. Yeah, I just need to make it look a little better. I mean, you've got the graphic card for this. I mean, oh yeah. This was a Pentium 1.2. You know, kind of game. So. <laughs> yeah, I I have a two gigabyte graphics card that can run Skyrim at almost high res. Like I, I can almost you have, have core processor too, right? Yeah, well, quad core. Quad core. Oh, okay. That I remember it's an AMD. Yeah. Clocks in at almost three gigahertz. I'm like 100 megahertz shy of a three gig processor. I have no L3 cache, unfortunately. 